Porsche coding by Launch X431 or Auto slash Odifix. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. The Odifix is built by Auto under this brand name and is aimed to the DIY market. It is cheaper than equivalent Auto, but same capabilities as it runs the full Auto software. You can do as much coding with Auto slash Odifix as you can do with Launch X431. It is similar to PyWeez for Porsche. Note, only the D1 Max and EvoScan Ultra can do Porsche online coding. Check Odifix comparison table. With Odifix, you also get two years of free downloads, while you get only one year with Auto. Odifix D1 Max is very fast, great at diagnosing faults. It's been great with adaptation, calibration, and coding. 1. In main screen, select Control Unit. Odifix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 1. 2. Then select the control unit you want to code, for example selecting instrument cluster. Odifix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 2. 3. Select coding. Odifix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 3. 4. Select coding without rules. Odifix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 4. 5. Is going to ask you to connect to the internet. This is the difference between Launch X431 and Autl. Auto will need to back up all the data in the cloud, kind of a val log, which you can retrieve later if you have issues. This is a one-time kind of deal and is going to take some time to do this, but then after the second time you can skip the backup and go rather quickly to coding. With Launch X431, you don't need to upload your codes in order to get into coding. Odafix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 5. 6. Select the option you want to code, for example select Onboard Computer Menu Configuration 2. Odafix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 6. 7. Code. This is the feature I like the most from Auto in comparison to Launch X431, and is that it displays a full list with drop down menus with the options, and you can change more than one at a time. Odafix D1 Max Porsche Coding Review 7. Also, one thing I found is that Auto is more true to PyWee's naming conventions than X431 is. Coding seems easier with the Auto slash Odafix. For example, I adjusted the height of my air suspension Mekong, started with a recalibration using PyWeez to return my Mekong to stock height, and then went to coding and lowered the Mekong through correction values in PSM slash level coding. Then, I went out with my X431 to do some additional corrections, and I wanted to test it too, and found that I needed to go to four different field options and write each will one by one. While with the auto slash Odafix, it was very similar to PyWeez in which you input all four will height correction values in a single screen, and then write all of them at the same time. In sum, you can use PyWeez for complex maintenance and calibration procedures, like refilling suspension system, height calibration, installing and programming headlights, etc. Launch X431 is great tool for diagnosing faults and coding ECU. It is a hit and miss with adaptation and calibration. You can do Porsche offline coding even with the CRP919 and CRP919BT scanners under $500. Auto and Odafix do good coding on Porsche, but cheaper auto scanners won't do Porsche online coding, i.emx900, Odafix D1 slash D1 Lite, etc. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.